Welcome to AFAC's number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Now, the past couple of hours, Shalene Ruto has been trending after mentioning she operates from the office of the first daughter. Now, people have, sir, that is, have been having a problem with Shalene doing tours around the country, visiting uh, county officials. Basically, she's been very busy and people have been questioning who is financing all this until when she put out that she has a team at the office of the first daughter and this was while she was attending the U Lead summit in Arusha, Tanzania. This raised a lot of questions. We had shared the video previously and people are questioning, is this even constitutional? Who is funding this office? Is this office being funded by tax? Taxpayers' money, these trips that have been happening, is it from the taxpayers? Well, according to Charlene Ruto, this is a private affair. But before we get to her statement, let us listen to what she had said for those who might have missed it. Days. So before again, I continue, I wanted to introduce quickly my team from Kenya. So I'll start with the back. So this is Mike Sagana. Um, he's one of my team members. Uh, he's a politician <laughs> and he's my principal advisor in my team. And uh, this is Jamil Momani. He's the head of trade and investments at the office of the first daughter. And this is... <laughs> this is... I don't get what's funny. And as you can see, Shalene has a whole team. And even before she could continue to introduce the rest of her team, she was cut short by the laughter. In fact, she was asking them what they were finding funny from her statement. Well, as this elicited or rather sparked quite a reaction on social media of people questioning who is paying for all this, then Shalene Ruto has put out a statement. And as you can see, Shalene Ruto for immediate release, the office of the first daughter is a private entity. It is neither a constitutional office nor is it being funded by Kenyan taxpayers. The office runs to purely facilitate the activities of and any programs being run by Ms. Charlene Ruto. Through its independent structure and facilitators, the office has engaged various players across the country and beyond in line with some of its objectives of championing youth-based agendas and climate change advocacy. The office of the first daughter has at all times acted in good faith to ensure that the Kenyan youth have a voice and get access to opportunities to enable sustainable livelihoods. And so under her comment section, netizens came out to support her. As you can see, go girl, we are right behind you. I am ready if you need a volunteer. If you hear noise, know that it is good thing and it has impact. That's why they can't stand it. Somebody also said here, yeah, stop hating on her guys. Anyway, see si Shalin Ruto Unipeka Zita Fadhali. Somebody says Kibaki and Uhuru tried so much in keeping their families out of limelight. The day I saw the first daughter traversing the counties and meeting top county officials, I knew something fishy was going on. Why create the office of the first daughter? But I feel it's okay doing what you are doing, girl. Don't explain yourself a lot. Keep moving and let the communities feel your effect positively. If youth will be helped, why not go on, girl? Somebody says, go, girl. And another comment here reads, and if you are still there doubting what this young lady is doing or up to, see the pace. Her efforts are what we have missed for a long time. And somebody says, you are a public figure. Keep on with the good work. Let's read one last comment. Not sure why this is an issue of contention amongst Kenyans. She has the right and capacity to move and shake things for Kenyans who might need help and support. We have such backward mentality of pulling down and destroying others instead of building what may serve the common good for those in need. She said that it's not funded by our money and she's gotten well wishes. She has more capacity to actually lobby and get funds for more than most new companies. But for us, it's never about what but whom if you are the daughter of the president your dream to make a difference will just wash away because your father made his dreams or will you also pursue your passions shaking my head kenyans i don't tire well and there you have it this office is privately funded it is not in the constitution and also no funds is coming from the taxpayers' money, which was something that many people were questioning. Well, you have it. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, turn on your post notifications so you're notified once new uploads are up. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.